hi everybody it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and I've been getting a lot of requests um, from people about doing a tutorial on this spooky spells uh, book that I made um, and you can just put loads of different gifts in or whatever you want I made mine for a Halloween collaboration I was in um, and I thought it would be a great idea to put little treats and things in. So I've had loads of people asking if I would do a tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do today. But uh, I also thought when I was making this that you, you don't have to make it Halloween. You can do it lots of different styles. So we're going to do a Christmas one. Because um, that was me next idea was I thought, oh, Christmas. So it's really, really easy to make. Now, you will need a piece of 12 by 12 card though. Um, that's what you're going to need for the actual like base of the book. Hang on, I forgot me instru not instructions, but measurements. So that bit needs to measure 10 and a half by 12 inches. Okay. And you're going to score that at one and a half um, and three inches on all four sides and that's just to reinforce it. Then for the cover and the back cover you need two pieces which are both four and a half inches by it's either six well I've got six and six sixteenths um, but I might be able to adjust that, so if you hang on for that, we'll clarify their measurements in a minute. And then the spine um, needs to be six and one eighth by one and three quarters. So we're going to score this first, as I said, one and a half and three inches on all four sides. Okay. is the middle of your like book it's just fold and burnish and we're going to reinforce it so I'm sure you've seen us do this loads of times we'll have four boxes in every corner we are just going to cut straight up here okay so we've got all the four boxes there then we're going to remove the two bottom ones so we've only got two little boxes now and then we're going to remove, always remove the end square and keep the square. Keep this square, okay? So I'm just going to mitre in there a bit. And just like mitre in all of the sides really so bits don't get in the way. And then you're just going to do that on all four sides I nearly cut that whole thing away there that wouldn't have been very clever would it we'd be starting again
Okay. So there is all of our little bits cut away there. So we will need glue or tape on all four of these little flaps here. No, because we haven't scored it yet. Oh God, get that glue off there. <laughs> right, because what I did was on the original one I made, I scored around just to make it look like a real little book, I suppose. I did the same on the spine. Now what you have to remember is when this goes together, so the end flaps, will be getting folded over here and we won't see them so you need to score the four pieces that are closest to the middle of the box so you can just take a scoreboard um, and for example so we need to be scoring the inside ones so just get it lined up with you know as far as it'll go and then I just kind of scored it at every every little groove in the scoreboard And then it looks like that so you'll need to do that on all of your four sides glad I didn't glue that together before I realized should end up with what looks like that now and that's basically the basis of your book now the spine what we need to do is score this at a quarter of an inch on each side on the short side So a quarter of an inch, so it would be a quarter of an inch and then two inches and then every one eighth just go down. And then just fold the quarter of an inch ones and then what you want to kind of do is get something sort of round and just roll this round it a little bit and that's just to kind of give it that you know kind of beveled shape and you'll find with you already scoring it you've stretched the fibers in the card so it doesn't kind of like crack and go horrible it just bends round really nice so what will happen then is that will sit in there just like that and the back and the front cover will glue onto here and that's basically it it's so easy to do and it's just a case of decorating it now with you know whatever style and colors and stuff you choose so that would get just glued onto there the front 
and then one will be your back. So you can decorate these before you stick them on the box. So what I've done is I've just cut some Christmas paper and I've just made it kind of a little bit shorter just to give a bit of a border around. I've got a few here because so I'm going to have that on the front now as well so we I put ribbon on we can attach the ribbon to the inside of the cover so I'm gonna pop this on the front And then what I had done on the other one was I just put some corners on which I'm going to use again today. They were just die cuts and I just used gildan wax on them. So what I've done is again I've cut four of these little corner dies out um, and I'm going to just pop them like that because I really like the look of this little die. It's this die here and it's from Alina Crafts so I think my battery's going to run out. I'm just going to stick all these on um, and what else did I do for the front? Oh yeah I made this gorgeous um, snow globe. I only put glitter in. I put like white glitter there and I put bits of silver there. Um, and obviously it's like a shaker kind of globe um, I don't know where it's from because I swapped it from Jo who's in my Facebook group um, but that's what I'm going to put on the front so that will go there um, and then obviously the little corners so I'll stick all that on and I'll be back when it's done okay everyone I have attached the corners and the uh, snow globe now I don't know what I'm thinking of here. I'm telling you that you need two pieces for your front and back. You don't. You actually only need one. So I don't know where the hell I've got that from. <laughs> right. You don't need a back one because everything sticks to the actual back of the box. So ignore that. You only need your front one. Okay. For your front of your book. So what we're going to do is take our little spine and we're just going to attach it onto the back like this okay so you just want some glue down here and it's going to glue we're going to start by gluing it onto the back all right just like that so we want glue down here or you can use tape if you want it's up to you And then our front cover, we're going to have tape down here and that is going to stick on there. And there we have our book, which I think it looks really, really nice as a Christmas one. Now as well, if you want to, you can put some of the paper inside, which is what I'm going to do. And they're all cut to the same, which I will measure them in a minute. I just haven't brought my ruler over. Let's have wrote it down four and three eighths by five and seven eighths, I think it says there. So just glue that in there if you want to. Obviously, you can put in whatever you want or just leave it, it's entirely up to you. And then what I also cut out was this lovely Christmas tree from Silver. Like white glitter paper again that was um what was I gonna put no I think I might put that on the back that was again from a swap that I did with Joe so I don't know where he got that from now I've cut a couple of pieces of ribbon 30 centimeters that's all I've got handy at the minute measurement wise 
So as I said, that is going to go on there. Okay. And then, so we need glue down there, but I also want the ribbon glued from in here and then the paper is going to cover it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape, just some double sided tape. Just roughly in the middle of the book. I mean, it's going to get covered anyway, so. And I'm just using this um, double sided gold ribbon that I've got. And I'm just going to attach that onto there. And then I'm going to stick my paper over again so it's going to completely hide this bit of the ribbon. cut it if there's too much and then I want glue down the side of this spine so that I can attach the cover oh no I think I'm going to do the ribbon on the back as well so I know that I kind of want it somewhere roughly in the middle so I'm just going to put some tape on the back Take the other piece of ribbon. Now what you could do here was that back the other piece that I said we didn't need. So what you could do is if you didn't just want to put paper on the back, what you could do is put that other piece of card on. Um, but you might need to trim it a little bit. So you could do that, which is what I think I'm going to do. So I'm just going to quickly trim this down. Just see if that fits now. Yeah, that's better. So I'm going to have that piece of card on the back. But like I say, you don't necessarily need it. You could just uh, use paper if you wanted to. But I want to put that tree on the back, you see, and it won't show up very well on top of the paper. And I suppose it gives like an extra layer of thickness, really. Covers the ribbon, so... There we go. So we've got our ribbon there. So now we just need to pop glue down here. we're going to glue this on here. So I'm just going to put a few bits of glue on it. I'd also cut this ivy stuff out as well, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have some down the spine, I think. Just kind of draping down there. on later it's just for the video I just wanted to you know show you but that is beautiful so there we go 
it's so not e not hard not easy not hard to make at all and i think it makes a beautiful gift for anybody so i hope you've enjoyed it Um, i hope you'll give one a try there's the halloween one. Oh, and i forgot something i bought these um echo park chipboard stickers and this one is tis the season to be jolly and i just wanted to pop that i'm gonna have to glue it on though um on there isn't that beautiful especially with the ivy down the side so yeah thanks for watching take care and bye for now